Good morning, my name is Karen Hansen and today I'm going to teach you how to do machine binding. This is a technique we use in the shop all the time. It is not hand binding, which you might want to do if you have a prize winning blue ribbon quilt. But machine quilting gets the job done. It's fast, it's quick, and it's really relatively easy. So here we go. All right, the first thing we need to do, we've gotten our quilt back from the quilter or we've quilted it ourselves, but it's not trimmed. So in order to put the binding on, we're gonna go, have to, go ahead and have to trim it. What I like to do is roll it up and make sure that I have the bulk of the quilt in front of me so I know where it is. The worst thing I can do is not know where the bottom of my quilt is when I start trimming. And of course I could slice right through the whole thing after all my hard work. So I've got it rolled up on the counter. I'm gonna start on one edge and I'm gonna align the ruler so it is flush with the quilt top. It might be a tiny bit over in some places and you can see if your border is not perfectly straight, it's gonna get covered up by the binding. Now, if you were trimming this quilt to be in a show for hand binding, you might wanna go ahead and trim it a little bit even further beyond the edge of the top, you know, over to here little bit further so that that binding is more full. But for today, I'm gonna trim it pretty darn close right to the edge and I'm just gonna follow along. I don't wanna cut my top unless it's really, really skewed, but I think at this point, I'm going to go like that and cut it. And as long as I'm over here, I'm gonna go ahead and get this corner and just nice and neat here. I can even use the marker on my ruler to get that little square angle. And I'm just gonna work my way all the way around the top. Oops, get that little thread. And work my way all the way around the top till I have it all trimmed out. Next step we have to do is make some binding. So off to the quilt store we go. Oh look, I'm here. And we need to decide how much binding we need there's a really easy way to figure it out. You take the width of your quilt, that's the length of your quilt, and you add those two numbers together. So I add 51 and 68, I get 119. Then, because I need the whole perimeter of the quilt, I have to multiply that number times two, and that gives me 238 linear inches all the way around my quilt top. I need to add 24 inches for a little extra on the corners and because I want to have a nice easy overlap to make the final join. So when I do that I come up with 262 inches, linear inches. What does that mean? It means I'm going to get 40 inches of usable fabric in a width of fabric strip. So I divide the 262 by 40 and I get 6.55. 6.55 what? strips but i'm not going to buy 6.55 strips and even if it was 6.1 i would always round up to the next number never round down so that brings me up to i need seven strips i'm going to take those seven strips and i want to cut my strips two and a half inches wide so that means i need exactly 17 and a half inches when I go to the quilt shop, I'm gonna buy 5 eighths of a yard because a half a yard, which is 18 inches, is just too tight. I'm gonna to wanna to straighten up the left edge. I might need a little straightening as I go along. And so I'm gonna purchase 5 eighths of a yard. Looky here, here's my piece of fabric that I've purchased. And now I'm gonna be ready to cut it. So to cut my fabric, it's really important that you have the fabric lined up right on the baseline. I've already straightened this left edge. You want it nice and straight on this line because if you don't, if you have it cattywampus, you're gonna get a V when you cut the strips. So most of this, I think most of you know, but I'm just gonna go over it again for the heck of it. So I get it lined up all nice and straight and I'm gonna come across with my ruler and I'm going to cut myself and see how I'm cutting. I'm gonna walk my hand along the ruler. I'm gonna cut myself seven strips. So that's two. Sometimes I know this ruler is five inches. I cheat a little bit and I say four. Oops. 
six. And here is going to be number seven, that scrap. And I'm gonna pull these away and I'm gonna come and go backwards and finish up quilting or cutting the in-betweens. This would be a bad time to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, and I've got seven strips. Now the other thing, as long as it's here, I'm gonna go ahead and put this strip back in its little place. As long as I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim that selvage off. And I always tell people, do, don't do as I do, but turn. you might wanna turn, but I got nice long arms and I can reach over to cut that selvage. So now I've got my seven binding strips and I'm ready to sew them together.